1d3 plus 13 damage. Or remove them. 1d3 plus 9. That is a good upgrade. Punch. Punch McLarge huge. I'm just riffing on Mystery Science Theater now. I forget what movie it was, but whatever. Gotta... Oh, jeez. How many tension rooms can you have on one floor? As many as they want. They leveled. Okay. Some climbing. Detect traps. The more herbalism skill I have, the more likely the things I pull off the uh, bushes will be blessed. Which will be good for me, but I'll have to look up what they do. Battle axe, don't care. Bat corpses, whatever. Dwarven sausage, I want. Made with real dwarf. I think Adol makes a joke about that with the hearth uh, cursed hearthling cake. Yikes! Real hearthling. What did that say? Mouth appears on the wall and says, They say that those that have too many friends also have too many enemies. A.K.A. if you're a bard and you've got like 30 dudes following you, you're going to have a boatload of enemies on the level too. Obviously. Illiterate f dwarven farmer that is drunk. That is my cannon for this guy. He's very angry and drunk. He drank a potion of perpetual drunkenness, and now he just runs around punching everything. They said it was a curse, but he didn't think so. Also, you see clawbugs beating up on other animals. Kill the clawbugs immediately, because seriously, you don't need those things to level up. Of all the things I could level up, I think claw bugs would be the worst. You guess neutral? Yep. Useless. Arrow! My armor protects me. Hit me right in the eyeball, but my armor was more than adequate. How does that work? You're not allowed to know. Uh... Okay, nothing in there. Oh, here it is. I thought there was going to be a secret. But there was not. Burning flames, at least they didn't destroy my stuff. Chat with the orc. Seen da hurtling. Lord of the Rings reference, we have gone over this. Stone block hits in front of the door and disintegrates on impact. Because it hit it at 10 million miles an hour. Dropped from orbit. No, Pixie and rations. That was a nice pixie. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of money. How much do I have? 800. Not even to the Caverns of Chaos, and I'm comfortably well off. Who knew being drunk and punching everything would be so useful? Uh, just thinking. I don't know of any cursed items that could help me. If you're going like a pure wizard, then something like the Gauntlets of Peace could be really useful. Because uh, you're not going to be meleeing anything anyway, so the minor, huge penalty to attack and damage isn't going to affect you. 
but the huge defense that they give you is very useful. Let's get rid of this hood and put on this hood because those things are probably cursed. I need an altar that is aligned with me. I found lots of them, but none of them were mine. Kick the door. For once, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about your rigs very much. Uh, well, I found out that it's trapped. Kick. Stunned but not blinded. Wait for it. There we go. Ah! Brass bracers are useless. Run all you want, Hill Orc. Oh my. Ow! Ogre Magi? Not cool. And a freaking gargoyle. Forget that room. Riggs, where the heck are you? There you are. Let's go. You are in a bad neighborhood, sir. And a demon? Come on, Riggs. You can do better than this. You've got to pick your friends. I'm not really that interested in going into there and fighting the Ogre Magi. Not high on my priority list, I gotta say. Punch that fire beetle. No corpse, though, unfortunately. No spider corpses, no ant corpses, although I could go back and try to kill an ant now that I have brass knuckles. I want spiked knuckles of flesh rending. Hey. No. Ow, you rigs, don't hit me. You rigs dropped uh, the white potion again and a hatchet that I don't care about, and you learn me. He did not drop a stethoscope. Heal me. Okay, 118 health. It won't protect me from the ogre magi. But, it's, uh, you know, a good buffer. Now, if only he could give me an altar. Now that I've done that, though, I can kill everyone else. The eyeball paralyzes me, but nothing else happens because I punch the eyeball dead. Crude spear is an orcish spear. Rumba Zamba. Okay, music, you're getting really disconcerting. Thank you. I think. I don't think I'm being epic enough. Gotta say, I'm not even fighting right now. Alright. Music, inspiring. Let's go down to the bottom level and kill us an invisible ogre magi. Fire beetle! Eat that fire beetle. Possible fire resistance. Already this is working out. Of course, it gives you the very hot message either way, but it doesn't, you don't actually know if you have fire resistance or not. That's a stone spy. Snow stone snake. Is that what I want it to be? Neutral again. Freaking claw bugs, man. No, oh, found the ogre magi. Punch, 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 punch. 
And I killed it dead. Oh, I should just stay Berserker. That's right. Gargoyle is neutral. Small shield. Gray ooze. Uh, nope. That goblin corpse. Dark room. Stone snake attacks the gargoyle. Stone snake got killed by the gargoyle. And that's a hostile gargoyle. Tore it apart with my bare hands. Uh, troll. Slam. Leaving. I know better than the mess of trolls at this point in my life. I've had enough experiences with them going berserk and killing me. He can just stay there. That's his level. He owns it now. Besides, it was only a neutral altar. Bleh. Light crossbow. Gelatinous cube got punched dead. Come on, spider. No corpse. Well, at least I can punch gelatinous cubes out now. I'm always hesitant about meleeing them because they corrode weapons on hit, but they can't corrode your fists. There's so many benefits to using your fists. The penalty is that your overall damage is pretty low. We're off to the Caverns of Chaos, and eventually we'll have to come back after I gain literacy. Not here in particular, but uh, to the village, because I left a bunch of tomes there that I got out of the puppy cave. I'm still carrying a bunch of items that would be very useful to me if they were not cursed, and I don't know if they are or not, and I don't feel like praying them away. Praying the curse away. So I'm just gonna hold on to them and use my skin to tank. I'm tanking with honor, but my honor is very strong. Eve Online reference there. You don't want to honor tank in you know, Eve Online, you'll lose. Just saying. I demand lower prices. Hey girl. I know it's sad. You pass beneath a million beautiful trees all at once. Age of Wonders now. I think I want to just go back up to the Blinding Star. Large ration, large ration, several items. Cursed is now 10. I'll take that, and that. And I'll take that loaf of bread, too. And I will kill this child. No, I won't. And I'll take those. And that. Carrying so much weight and most of its food. I'm gonna pick up my scrolls. Leave the tomes. Do I have any other books? No. Let's go here. I should be able to handle anything that spawns. Come back! He left He left the arena. Yeah, hey, outlaw leader. Money or mugging. Or fists. You didn't consider that one, did you? Potion of healing. Crystal dagger. Those are really nice. 
If you're using daggers, crystal daggers are pretty darn good. Dwarven sausage, wand of light, amulet of perseverance, waterproof blanket, ooh, good to know what that is. Earthling cake, ring of luck, ooh, clothing, stone spear, ring of stun resistance, clothing, scroll of identify, iron ration, bundle of corals. Okay, let's look at my inventory now. Did I identify anything? I should have some scrolls of identify if nothing else. Yeah, I have a single scroll of identify. I also want to try to haggle. Hey, I can get it cheaper. I can haggle, but he's still really, really expensive. Thanks, dude. You're cool. But, uh... You're still out of my price range, because I am but a farmer that punches things to death. I do not understand your concept of weapons. I do believe, in this boring cave, we're not actually going to do the thing in here, because we don't know about it, so we can't. But I think there should be some herbs that I can gather. Yes, yes, the cat god or whatever his name is gets stronger and stronger with every cat I kill, but I'm not planning on going to meet him. Least demon. Don't eat the least demon. Don't eat kobolds, don't eat demons. It's self-explanatory. Bad for you, too. Pine wand. Second floor. Oh, teleportation traps. Found those. Another one. Everyone's teleporting. It's a big old smorgasbord of fun here at Teleportation Warehouse. Bye. Hi. Oh, flares. Gold pieces. Teleporting. Dark room. Don't have any idea what these ones do. Oh, chaos lizard. Got it. Okay. For a second, I thought that was a karmic lizard, and I was going to be sad, because I had punched it. We. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye! Looks like there is no herbs here, just teleportation maze. And... I've had about enough of those. Skeletal patrol, I don't get away. Oh yeah? You wanna bet? See, I could get away right now, but they're pretty easy to kill, so I'm just gonna kill them. Punch me with your bony fist, see where it gets you. Bones. I'm hungry. But that's why I have sausage! And fists to generate food. Leather cap, unuseful. Unless I had no cap. Eat that. Please don't poison me, I'm not resistant to it. My damage reduction doesn't help against that, but if I don't get damaged by your attacks, you don't poison me. That works. Thank you, armor. Hello, archers. In a pond. I could mess with the pond, and it could also kill me. Do you feel like testing your luck? Answer, no. 
I'm actually doing okay. As I am, I don't need random mutations.